Hello and welcome to the revised comparison between the Tonex, the Neural Amp Modeler, and the Proteus. In my last video, the results of the NAM were not very good and I got a lot of good hints and advice in the comments. I'll keep it short and to the point. The Neural Amp Modeler sounds exceptionally good if you don't make my mistake. I spent countless hours trying out all the different suggestions and created many models. Here's a summary of the suggestions and whether they worked. Suggestion 1. Always use a load box. Using the built-in cab clone load box might have been the problem. Well, no, that is not the problem. In my tests, it seems that NAM does not really care where the audio signal comes from. You'll hear it in the later comparisons, which were again taken from the cab clone out of my Mesa Boogie Mark V. Suggestion 2. NAM is optimized for amp-only models. While it is probably true that it sounds best when the signal is a direct output from the amp, I think that the full stack capture is also indistinguishable from the original. Check out this comparison between a NAM model and a full rig. I created a model of the ML Sound Lab Amped Roots standard amp with a cab because someone asked in the previous video if it was possible. I'm not going to share the model I created because I don't see the point in creating models of amps that are already in the digital realm. Suggestion 3. Wrong input or output levels make a huge difference. No, they don't. Yes, the gain structure in the plugin will change, but as far as the capturing process is concerned, it will not affect the quality of the model unless the signal is clipped. Suggestion 4. Hureka. That's it. While it's very clear that the capturing process needs to be 48 kilohertz audio at 24-bit depth, it's not so obvious on the player. At least I found no mention of it on the GitHub page. Anyway, if you use the NAM at, say, 44.1 kHz, it will sound fine and it will work. But it won't sound like the original amp because a lot of the high end is missing. You won't be able to tell unless you can do an A-B comparison with the original amp. Now that that's clear, have a listen to the new models I've created using the Tonex, Proteus, and NAM software. As before, the original Mesa Boogie Mark V is the gray track, the Tonex is the blue track, the Proteus is the green track, and the Neural Amp Modeler is the orange track. Let's get started.
be honest, the results are almost indistinguishable. The Proteus and NAM models are even better than the first tests. Well done. So after repeating this test, here's my revised verdict for the NAM Neural Amp modeler. The verdict on the Tonex and Proteus has not changed since the last video. They are both great. The sound of the Neural Amp modeler is also exceptionally close to the original Amp. It feels and sounds exactly the same to me. As this is still in development, I hope they will support more frequencies in the future as announced. Being limited to 48 kilohertz is something that makes it less versatile compared to the Proteus and Tonex. The CPU usage is pretty high compared to the Proteus and Tonex, which can be a problem in bigger multi-track songs. To wrap things up, here's my new summary. The Tonex is the most refined software with a lot of professional and free models. It is a paid software and it is easy to use. The Proteus is an open source project. It has the lowest CPU usage. The training process is a little complicated, but you can easily get good results. It also has BioD support. The NAM has the better sound out of the two open source projects, but it comes as a cost of high CPU usage. Creating your own models is also a little complicated. It has a very active development community, and great advances can be expected. Leave a comment if you like this video, if things have changed since it was published, or even if you disagree with my conclusion. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.